Hello, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. God has a word for someone today. This is a right now word. So, whatever word anyone gives you, you must take it back to God in prayer to see if it's for you or someone you know. It could be now or it can be in the future. So be sure to test every spirit. Don't believe every spirit. Because many false prophets are on the rise. So God loves you. So do I. Most importantly, Jesus loves you. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he sent us his one and only begotten Son so that whosoever will believe in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Jesus did not come to condemn anyone but to set us free. So whomever the Son sets free is free indeed. He says that the enemy, the thief, comes to steal, kill, and destroy. But he has come to give you life so he can give it to you more abundantly. Thank you, Lord. God loves you so much. He loves you so much that he told me to tell you I was just in prayer. And I just felt the need to pray for his people. I said, Lord, what would you have for me to say to your people today? And he told me, he said, tell my people that they need to search for me and seek me with their whole heart because he wants to let you know about these people that have come into your life. Anyone that he is bringing to your remembrance throughout your lifetime. Thank you, Lord. He wants to let you know why they were there. He wants to let you know, are they from him or from the enemy? Your father, the most high God, or their father, the devil? My God, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy what you have. He's seeking someone to devour, and it's you. Thank you, Lord. My God, the no weapon formed against you will be able to prosper, ever. So anyone that rises up against you in judgment will be condemned. Thank you, Lord. So he wants to tell you about every spirit that you have encountered that he will bring to your remembrance. You gotta seek him. Seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness so that he can add all these things to you. All the things in this world that you need to know that you should have learned from. He sent these people for a reason and now he's been removing them for a reason because he has a bigger plan for you, my God. My God, he wants you to purify your hearts. My God, thank you, Lord. Oh my God, he said, wash your hands. <sighs> my God, purify your hearts. You double-minded. He has given us grace, my God. He wants to tell you everything you need to know. There's a reason why he allowed these people in your life. And now he has to tell you who they really are. And what he is allowing them to do is expose themselves. But you don't know fully. You don't know whether to believe them or not. The Most High God is speaking to you. His Spirit is already in you telling you. My God, thank you, Lord. He that is in you is greater than he that's in the world. So he's going to tell you, as he has been. But you have to deny yourselves. 
Jesus said, if anyone wants to be his disciples, must deny themselves and pick up their crosses and follow him. So we have to follow him. Thank you, Lord. We can't serve two masters. Jesus Christ is the only way to the Father. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Thank you, Jesus. He must be your Lord and Savior. So we gotta surrender wholeheartedly. That way we can hear him clearly. These spirits were spiritual beings. So he has to tell you about every spirit that has entered into your life and the ones that's coming. He's sending them on purpose. There's a reason. He has to train you himself to show you that you don't carry the spirit of fear or confusion. You carry a spirit, his spirit, of power, love, and of a sound mind. And you're able to crush these scorpions and serpents. He sent them your way for a reason. Thank you, Lord. They were there. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. It's your assignment. <laughs> they are your assignment. And they weren't able to crush you or anything. They couldn't destroy you. They couldn't wish anything on you. They couldn't pray about anything. Those weapons that they try to form didn't. They never did. They were just sitting there waiting for time as this time right here such a time as this it's where it's going to backfire on your enemies you got to pray for your enemies you got to love them because things are getting ready to happen to them so he has to tell you so you can help help to have them come back to the father thank you he'll send you only he will send you don't allow the enemy to send you. These enemies are from familiar faces and monitoring spirits. You're going to pretend to like and love, care, want to have a relationship with you, or get close to you. But don't let them in. You must test every spirit. We must test every spirit to see where they're coming from. There's good and bad people in the world. So God is separating the weights from the tares, the sheep from the goats, dark from light. You're getting ready to see the wolves in sheep clothing expose themselves. But you have to be surrendered to the Most High God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, so that the Spirit of the Lord, thank you Holy Spirit, can show you every single spirit. If it's His Spirit, do they carry His Spirit? Or do they carry their Father, the Devil Spirit? Those are the ones that will pretend. These are wolves in sheep clothing. Satan does. Thank you Lord. Satan appears as an angel of light, and so does his servants. They masquerade as an angel of light. They're not real. They're pretending. It's not white. It's dim. It's beige. My God, off white. My God. So he wants you to draw near to him. He so said, when you draw near to him, he'll draw near to you. Wash your hands. You sinners, purify your hearts, you double-minded. My God, he is reminding me of scripture, the book of James. I'll get it. I'm going to read it. All right, I'm going to be looking down. So this is James 4, 6 through 11, NIV version. New International Version. But he gives us more grace. That is why scripture says, God opposes the proud, 
but shows favor to the humble. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve, mourn, and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. Brothers and sisters, do not slander one another. Anyone who speaks against a brother or a sister or judges them speaks against the law and judges it. When you judge the law, you are not keeping it, but sitting in judgment on it. My God. It gives us grace. It's by His grace. Thank you, Lord. You have to submit yourself to him. If not, he can't speak to us clearly. You must resist the devil and he will flee from you. These are people. The devil uses people. People that try to get to know you. So God wants to show you who these people were and who they are and the ones that you're going to meet. Because he is sending them on purpose. This is part of your assignment. They never was able to crush you. They was never able to do anything to you. So now this, this is this time where the Lord is paying back to the proud what they deserve. They were after you. But the thing is, it's deeper than that. They were after him and you. Jesus said they won't like you because of him. So they saw him and you. And they try to stop you from accomplishing what the Father has planned for you. God has a big purpose for you that's so great. It's greater than you. It's greater than anything you ever know. It's with big plans and purpose. Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the plans I have for you. My plan is to prosper you and not harm you, to give you a hope and a future. He's calling you into leadership. Many people didn't get it right. So he sent you amongst these demons. You crush them every time. Now he has to explain to you why you had to go through what you went through. This was to sharpen you and to equip you. You've already had all these tools inside. He just had to show you how to use them. And he sent people to help sharpen those tools. Because iron sharpens iron. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. We help. We help each other. And so the Lord will send help for a reason, for a season, or for a lifetime. There's a plan. There's a purpose. God wants to show you your true identity. But that can only be through Jesus Christ, our Savior, my God. There's bigger plans and a bigger purpose for you, your family, your true family. Jesus said, who are my mother? Who are my brother? My mother and father and brothers, cousins, now I'm paraphrasing, uncles, nieces, sisters, husbands, wives are the same ones that serve the same God as I do. So this is your family. Whoever's not for you is against you. So your family is the one that's for you. 
if you are for the Most High God. So he wants to join you to your true family. In Jesus' name. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's purpose. It's bigger than you. So much to be revealed. He said he's already written the instructions on the tablet of your heart. So you must stay rooted and grounded in the vine, which is Jesus Christ. Jesus said, I am the vine. You are the branches. Apart from me, you can't do anything. So we must stay rooted. His word is alive. Sharper than any double-edged sword. The Bible. B-I-B-L-E. Basic instructions before leaving earth. He's going to make it so clear to you now. Because he'll show you the revelation through his spirit that you carry. And through the word. And just keep seeking him in prayer. And he's going to ask for you in due season. There's a time and place for everything. So wait on them. Wait on them patiently. They that wait on the Lord will renew their strength. They will mount up their wings like eagles and soar. They'll run and not worry. They'll walk and they'll never faint. So continue to stand on the word of the Lord. All the time. All the time. He's going to answer you. He's testing us out. He's testing you out. He's testing me out. He's always been testing us. Now it's time to see results. He is the only way. Jesus Christ. Seek first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. He wants to give you all these things that you need in this world to survive so that you can go out here and help his children that are in need. He trusts you. So he wants to help train you. So you can go help train his children the way in the instructions of the Lord. God loves you and so do I. Most importantly, Jesus loves you. Amen? Amen.